Hello everyone, in the previous video we learned how to use the combo box object. In this video, I will make an application using a segmented button. Whichever button I press, I want its text to be printed on the label object. I will redo the project from scratch. At the end of the project, you will be able to create the desktop applications you want with segmented buttons. To support me, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. I created an empty desktop window. I will add a frame object. I am sending a few parameters as we learned in previous tutorials. These parameters represent the physical properties of the frame object. I sync with the pack function. We created a frame object. I will add a few objects to the frame object soon. First I will create an entry object. The user will enter a name using the entry object. I set its position with place. We added the entry object to the desktop window. I will create another entry object for surname. I can do this using the copy paste method. I am changing a few properties. I added the second entry object. Finally, I will create an entry object for the age. I am still using the copy paste method. I am changing a few properties. The third entry object has been added to the desktop window. Now I will add a segmented button. I am using the segmented button function. I am sending the values and the task function to the function. I am placing the object by sending a few values to the place function. I set the default value with the set function. I'm defining a task function. But I will use the pass command. So I'm not doing anything for now. We will see in a moment how the segmented button works. Now I just added the buttons. I am creating a label object. I am sending many parameters to the function. These parameters represent the physical properties of the label object.
I add the object to the desktop window with place. I am creating a default value with the string var function. I will change this value in the task function shortly. All objects have been added. Now I will set the task function. The value value represents the values that come when the button is clicked. For example, when the name button is pressed, value will be equal to name. Using an if query, I will set what button is pressed. I can access the texts in the entry object with the get function. I will copy and paste other value if queries. The application is complete. Let's try. Whichever button I press will show its text in the label object. Thanks for watching. To support me, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.